the sloppy play continues. They have to take a time out there to maintain possession. Tough. Tough one, tough one. So, shorties, again, recognize when you get slid to and get away. This is the second time, 24. Hasn't done a great job at recovering uh, when getting slid to. On, on the inside, you got 43 as the hot guy, and, and number 40 ends up being the two slide, uh, and 21 splits the two up top here. And it's nice on ball defense. You're doing a fine job, 24. But when you get slid to there, you're in a tough spot, you know, and I think Max doesn't do a great job of, recognizing that Cam's turning him back underneath. So Max probably should have had a better slide angle, but a better job of communicating that would have cleaned up. I think it starts with that slide angle there, the more I look at it. But uh, again, Shorty should still be in the habit of get when you get slid to, uh, rotating off of it so you don't create that confusion. But the importance of a strong slide angle. <laughs> Sliding to where they're going to be, not where they are. I guess is a better way to put it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nice job. Nice job. Way to play with your head up there, number uh, whoever this guy is here, this attackman. Gets going here. All right, guy falls down, get tripped up, look like foot on foot. Plays with his head up, finds the guy on the backside. Really nice job. Eight seven ball game. Hmm. Malvern's up one here. Be an exciting finish. Ooh. Nice job here on the save. I think I uh, want to watch this real quick. Just got guys recognize number 20 here as he comes off this. I think he makes a great decision not to shoot this as it's early in possession. We get a kick to the backside and get another isolated one on one on a shorty. He does a nice job, but nice little flick there and, and kick to the backside and a little backhander just off gauge. Nice footwork there by number 44 on defense. <laughs> oh, man. That's a silly penalty there. Uh, you know, it's late in the game, what one point ball game, and as you run through a pick to, to give a guy an extra whack as you run by. 
not necessarily the smartest thing to do here uh, when the, you got this tight of a ball game. Another look through to the backside, and this one's just. Again, this is that five-man rotation, and so see where 44 starts here. This guy's having a nice ball game. As, as that ball switches fields, it goes from this corner across. Malmer's in this 3-3, three, three. Oh. and, uh, he, you know, this backside guy crashes hard. They get the feed into the crease, so this guy's rotating up. This is where they exchange responsibility. So when the ball's on, on the near side here, this low guy had the crease. As the ball rotates back across, he comes flying out. And 44 has got to go with him. 15 gets down the backside. Uh, and, and you see 44 here crash on this crease. It's, it's open. He gets there. Gets that contact. Really nice job. But, again, this guy just came down from this backside. And, and 22 was the top center guy. Last time I think it was 25. Now it's 22. That should be splitting uh, these two guys here in this situation and, and playing that skip lane. And, Good capitalization there. Yikes. Uh, I'm not sure what this defenseman's thinking here. Uh, yeah, just keep sitting. If the D guys, you get hung like this, uh, I'm not crazy unless you have a super athletic goalie to, to bring him out of cage and out of position. Just because they're so easy to, to shoot on an open net if you get the ball skipped through. So I prefer the goalie stay in cage. And this defenseman, just stay top side. You know, you can't score from behind the net. And, and so going and chasing him here. Um, not 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 a great decision. You know, be patient, stay matched up off ball. Either he comes around or they're gonna put a, a stall call on the on the offense. Move the ball. <laughs> oh, man. All right. It's a nice little one on one here. A little trickery. Throws the big fake, comes back to its right hand, and just buries it. <laughs> Yikes. 8-10. Salah's keeping it close, but man, those last two goals, uh, you know, two of them, man down. Uh, disciplined lacrosse play, fellas. Tight ball games, man. Possessions count. Unforced turnovers, can't have them.
<laughs> oh, another penalty. This guy gets crushed here on the end line, throw the sideline too. I guess they called a late or a high hit on this one. It, uh, yeah. I, I probably would have called back cross check there over the one in the middle, but uh, who knows? Who knows? Tough, man. Poise, poise, fouls. I know you want to play tough and, and play hard, but uh, hard and smart versus hard and dumb in these tight games and, and close close fourth quarter uh, possessions. They, they, they mean everything. Malvin run out of a 3-3 again. Either a stall warning or a keep it in call. Looks like Malvers just running out the clock here. All right, that looks like it's going to be it, fellas. So, you know, keys to this game, uh, I think both teams were, were, were rather sloppy and had way too many unforced turnovers. Um, yeah, you know, had Sally's kind of cleaned up a few of them and capitalized. That could have been a big upset for them. That that program's been nipping at Malvern's heels for years, and it's only a matter of time before uh, they get a big win over over the Friars. But uh, if for for the Malvern guys, you know, offensively, you know, congrats, you put up ten goals and you come away with the win. But far too many, far too many unforced turnovers uh, throughout the game, and uh, it shouldn't have been that tight of a ball game. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed a uh, little bit of a mix-up instead of another Malvern Haverford game. Uh, but it's tough finding ones that are that are filmed from a good angle where we can really see everything going on. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will uh, see you guys next week. Thanks.